Snow Cow playing Rockman World, and I mean, today we're probably gonna be ending the game because I mean, this is the Game Boy. You couldn't have as much place as uh, Nintendo cartridge, so obviously, after the four robot masters, the cutest little guy in his big old park, uh, wow, and me right on first screen, also mountains. Uh, yeah, after that, like, I'm assuming the game just kind of ends. So I'm looking forward to that. Whoa, Ice Physics on the Game Boy. Bobo still around. He's all over the place. Oh yeah, I have zero life. Uh, if there were like a hole right at the start or something, I would have gladly just jumped right into it. Yeah, it's a remix of this good old song. Good old song and those lovely mountains, although the clouds are quite dark. The, the storms are brewing. Let's go indoors. Uh, all right, more Susie. This game really loves Susie's. I don't know why, it's just kind of weird. What, like, how do you time yourself with this? This seems impossible, but here we go. I'm gonna shoot that thing, then I'm gonna shoot this other thing, and the ice is gonna bring me pain. Check it out, I'm back to being full. And the ice, oh, I flopped down. The, the jump didn't jump good. You saw it, Mega Man just went, no, it's like I said, you know, you gotta, you gotta, I had zero life, so it made a lot of sense to just kind of reset my life counter. Not a lot of uh, incidental lives in this game compared to the other, the NES ones, but maybe that's because I also died a lot more than in the NES ones. And not only am I like a lot more unfamiliar with the Game Boy games, but I don't know, I honestly believe that they are just significantly harder than their main console brethren. I don't know why the, that would be the case, but you know, value! Back then, value was how much time you had to spend on a game to beat it. Ah, some people still think that way, but they were probably raising that kind of thing. I'm just kind of looking at the beautiful wall- Oh my god, the ice crumbles! The ice, that's not how melting works, friend! <laughs> hey, it's a worm machine. Once again, visiting a Mega Man 2 classic. The worm machine. Just, oh, the health went away. Well, this is just an awkward position for everyone involved. Man, dude. Dude. Alright, well, we're start here, so it's all good. <laughs> but still, I'm gonna just say dude. Like, I don't know, I'm not sure how the jump there I could have done differently. I think I bought my head? I don't know. Yeah, I'm still like right here, so I can just like sh try and shotgun this very poorly. Why is this so hard to hit? Alright, so... Uh, see. I guess I need to jump closer to the edge, but man, with the ice physics being involved, like... Like, so... Ice physics in uh, traditional platformers do two things. Or has the potential of doing two things. Makes it harder to stop, which is, you know, which is a classic effect. Like, everyone expects that. But there's also the side effect of making it, making your startup run, like, start slower. Put a bit of a delay on it. As your protagonist uh, figuratively spins its wheels. This is what keeps happening here, and so I keep jumping too early, and this feels terrible. Let's check out the firestorm called Fee! Wow, it's the same attack! Who would have thought? <laughs> that was very exciting! Got to test out the snow sweep. Maybe what I should do is instead of trying to do it from the very corner like an idiot, Go for their back, let yourself run so you can do it properly. Why was I doing it in a weird way if I could tell if I knew that it was an unsafe way? What's wrong with me? Oh, no, see, it was just a strategy to regain back the two lives again. Like, uh... Hi. Oh? We're playing Game Boy, Mega Man, Mario, Donkey Kong game? Okay, so I can reset things by doing this, I'm assuming, yes. Like, what the hell? Like, you can't jump up to that. Okay, from there, can you... How is, does this work? Can I jump from there? Like, maybe, but that's such a bad jump. Because, yeah, I think I... I eh, but you can go on those. And I... 
me and that worked, but like it's pretty obvious it's not really what you're supposed to do. <laughs> this is so weird. Like, is there ice that's gonna appear here? Eh. No, we're supposed to do it that way. What a weird level. What's going on? Now we're outside, I'm gonna get stomped on, good times. And the level continues outside of the great icy crevice. Where I'm probably gonna die from, like, that guy there, Sniper Joe's, is gonna be like, Check it out, my name is Sniper Joe, I snipe the Joe. It's me. Uh, oh boy. So ice physics, by the way, just remember that. It's always fun when ice physics are made where you even kind of lose control in the air. It's not quite that bad, but it, it's, it's close. Oh, wait, you're too slow, you're too low, you're too something. Ah, cut it out! Uh, yeah, I mean, if, if I'm just gonna have enemies that are so close to the floor that I cannot attack you with my gun. I'm gonna find other strand. Oh, that's a hole? Well, time to fight Iceman with no health, no life. It's gonna go super smooth. Hey, Iceman. So you do the exact same thing, except it's just two projectile, and then you skitter on and... Who didn't see this coming? Like, his pattern is even easy. Oh my god. Mega Man, because it's like it's missing that weird intermeanary, like inter, inter middle line. Uh, I just that there, you know, the ice uh, because the room is so small. When you skid along with the ice physics, it's uh, very easy to just kind of end up on the side. I have heard mention that it's true that the walls are weirdly unnecessarily thick for this room. Like, yeah, it makes it look better, but like it, it does have like a gameplay impact. <laughs> Because, man, is space a premium in the Game Boy games. There you go. You don't need health to beat Iceman. He just beats himself. You just need to be there and keep encouraging him in self-destructive behaviors. And eventually you're gonna win. Those are terrible hints I am giving here. <laughs> Please don't do it. Look up Mega Man's brain. And Carrie! Everyone likes Carrie. Um, number one. Hey, Dr. Wily. Wow, you can't use your arrow to move anywhere. So Dr. Wily, he's there, and he's serious. 